Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here back again. Now we are back from our break. I'm sorry that I took a lot of time off. Um, as you guys know from the community post that I sent out, I will be back doing daily videos and I'm going to be premiering them every single day. So there's going to be a premiere. Make sure you guys stop by so you guys can interact with me. Be the first ones to see the videos live and just interact, check things out with me. It's definitely going to be a blast and I'm going to be doing it with all my videos from now on. So definitely make sure you guys stop by. Um, with that being said, today's actually a very interesting video. Now, I've gotten this one a lot over the past few months. Now, Coach Corey did a video on this approximately maybe a year ago, eight months ago, something a really long time ago. And nobody's really covered this topic in a long time on YouTube. And this topic is how to become a pro player. Now, this is definitely a pretty interesting topic, and it's not something that I can just teach you. It's something that takes a while, something that you have to be committed to. But if you want to do it, these are the appropriate steps that you have to take in order to become a pro. So with that being said, let's hop into the video and let's talk about how to become a pro player. So before we talk about how to be a pro player, let's talk exactly about what a pro player is in browser. So a pro is somebody that competes in tournaments on the regular. Um, somebody that you see, it's a recognizable name, someone necessary and you don't necessarily need to face them on ladder or be afraid to face them or they need to be signed to an org with someone you just see in tournaments someone who has a team who's on a team who is somewhat of a recognizable figure in the game now there is a lot of different ways that people can use the term pro the way i use it is that just someone that you see a lot in tournaments who every time there's an na tournament you're going to see their team and their name on there now pros always switch around there's a difference between pros and semi pros a lot of people consider people like myself og crime man jack second best squashy alec people who have been signed to different orgs people who have gone to events won a lot of events them to be pros and then people who play in everyday events to be semi pros now you could be both you could be whatever, but to, to be honest, I just consider a pro someone who makes it kind of fairly deep into the tournaments that they play in. So with that being said, how do you become a pro? Now, there's three very important things that you must have if you want to become a pro, and that is Discord, Twitter, and Twitch. Now, why would you have Discord, Twitter, and Twitch? Now, Discord is definitely the most important one, but Discord also comes along with Twitter, so I feel like you have to have both of them. Twitch is more of an add-on. So things that you can get on Discord are tournaments, events, and to speak of a couple, um, this weekend there was a provocation tournament, an SSG tournament, and an SSG event, which many pros, semi-pros, a lot of the good players that are signed that get paid to play the game play in, and there's stuff that you need to play in if you want to start becoming a pro. Now, Discord can make you more well-known. I meet a lot of people, most of the people I actually play with in-game and on ladder. I meet them through Discord chats, just talking in Discord, joining servers where there's a lot of top-end players, and just being active, being a cool guy, making some friends is really, really important. Definitely keeping a uh, not, like, don't be hot-headed. That's definitely something that's very important. Try and be as calm, cool, and collected as you can possibly be. Um, you don't want to make any enemies because that's how you that's how you not be a pro something that's also really important is twitch so a lot basically all of the pro players stream so from na you got myself streaming crime man might stream once in a while on youtube og streams a lot mcd streams a lot felly streams second best streams alex streams all the top players in na you're going to catch them streaming and just going into their chats you're going to see a lot of other pro players there just hanging out having a good time and just getting to know other people is really really important in this they can help you lead to a lot. So if I were trying, if I were right now trying to become a pro, the number one thing I would do is download Twitter, Discord, and Twitch. Follow all the pro players, follow all the game leads for Brawl Stars. Stay very up to date with everything that you can in Brawl Stars because it is very, very, very important that you do so if you want to get into the loop and want to get into the pro player circle. On to the next topic, which is what do these things lead to? Discord, Twitter, and Twitch. Well, there's a lot of things. I actually have a list over here, but we did cover a couple of them already. We have tournaments and events, which obviously we've spoken about. That is the greatest practice. But before you have that, what you have to do is form a team and become recognizable. So myself, I was not a pro off the start. Um, there were a lot of players in beta who were really, really good, very high skilled, and I was not one of them. But after losing to them time and time again, which losing to pros is very important because you pick up on things they do. With the replay feature in the game, you can see things they do. You can see how they beat you, shots they took, shots they didn't take, when they uh, regen health, when they didn't regen health. You can learn a lot just from playing against them. So definitely just playing against other pros or playing with pros, stuff like that. Um, tournaments and events, obviously I already spoke about, just playing them is really, really important, but more so just trying to get into those servers, trying to become friends with people. But again, like I've said before, most of the people that I play with, that OG plays with, that second plays with, that Connor plays with, 
are just people who, you know, we, we met through Discord and we talked to, we became friends with, and we decided just to start playing with because that's what you do when you meet friends over Brawl Stars. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely download Discord, Twitch, and Twitter. Become a figure, follow everyone, stay up to date with everything, know what's in the meta. Definitely watch YouTube videos posted by myself, Cryman, OG, Coach Corey, stuff that talks about the meta, stuff that talks about what to play where, just picking up on things every now and then is really important. And Twitch is a much better place for that than YouTube. So I'm also going to put my Twitch description, uh, Twitch link in the description below. Definitely check it out. I stream almost every, sing every single day. So please, please, if you guys want to become pros, go check it out. Ask as many questions as you can. I'm there to answer them all. Now on to the next topic, which is how to get better. Now, this is kind of the tough one. So you have the Discord, Twitter, and Twitch, which is kind of getting your foot into the door, as they'd say. And then you have, you know, talking to the pros, getting friendly, stuff like that. Well, at this point, you have to create a team. So you have to, first of all, quit playing Showdown, okay? You can maybe play Duo Showdown, because maybe that may turn into a little small portion of competitive brawl, which I doubt it will, but there may be some leagues and tourneys for that. There's already Duo Stars League, but I don't think anything official by Supercell is going to be hosted for duos. But just quit playing Showdown, focus on 3v3, specifically Brawl Ball and Siege. Those are the main 3v3 game modes when you talk about competitive. So I would 100% start focusing on that. Um, put a lot of your time and effort into 3v3s. If you guys want to look at my profile right here, I have 47,981 3v3 wins. And I have 593 solo and 289 duo. I do not play duo or solo. I just play 3v3 solely. That's all I do. 3v3 is the only way you're going to get better because showdown in 3v3 is a completely different skill set and you guys have to be playing 3v3. So after you get your team, which is just you and two other people who have common interests, which is starting a pro team, which is really easy. You guys might think this is the hardest thing. It's really easy if you guys have Twitch, Discord, or Twitter. There's always people who are trying to do something. And if I see enough of you guys in the comments, I would honestly be kind of open to making a Discord server where I can kind of just mediate everything and just help you guys out, get you all in one place, and you guys can talk to each other and try and become pros, um, scrim against each other, stuff like that, which would be actually a really big help. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and I definitely could get to work on that because that wouldn't be too hard on mine. I could help you guys out a lot if there is a lot of interest for this. But anyways, play with your team every single day. You don't have to scrim. Um, personally, my team scrims dependent on what events. So if we have the World Cup coming, we'll have about 10 to 13 different scrims in a week so sometimes twice a day sometimes once in a day maybe even if we're lucky three times in a day which takes a good amount of hours out of the day but just playing with your team on ladder is a really good way to build chemistry and form um you guys playing with each other just learning each other's tendencies seeing what you guys are good at what you guys aren't good at how to pass the ball and brawl ball when to pinch stuff like that is very important so just playing with your team is something that I would very highly recommend um, sign up to as many tournaments as you can. The only way to learn is by losing over, over, and over again. And you're not just going to sign up and win. Don't be afraid to lose because when you lose, you're going to see how you lost and you're going to pick up on things and you're going to do things differently. You're going to lose again, but you're going to lose in a different way. You're not going to make that same mistake. You're going to lose in a different way, but there's already three mistakes that you're not going to make ever again because you got completely trashed on three different times and you're going to learn from your mistakes and improve on them. And just keep doing that over and over and over. You're going to see yourself getting deeper and deeper into tournaments until eventually you're competing with the best of the best, making as little mistakes as possible. Because that's what competitive Brawl Stars is. It's not necessarily who is way better than the other person. It's just about who can make the fewest mistakes and who can play the game as properly as possible. And something I'd highly recommend, which is part of downloading Discord, is using voice chat. Voice chat playing competitive is so ridiculously important it's like the only thing you need to do is focus on you know again your team synergy becoming more efficient with your team becoming better players with each other um just doing as much as you can as a team because solo playing is not how you become good the best time when we were winning every event was myself og and alec and we had amazing chemistry um, i've never had anything like it never seen anything like it like the chemistry we had uh, unfortunately that got broken up because of a few reasons and skill has a little bit more to do with chemistry now but chemistry is very important and us at SSG kind of actually learned that the hard way recently. But anyways, that is going to be it for today's video on how to become a pro. Um, if you guys want me to go a little bit more in depth, I can. And if you guys wanted me to make that server for you guys, 
please let me know because I would be more than happy to help you guys out as I always like to do. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know, leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see. I will talk, I'm hoping that you guys are here during the premiere and if you are, hello, I'm probably talking to you guys in chat right now, but hello anyways. And if not, definitely come up to the next premiere as we're going to be doing some really, really cool stuff during the premieres. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be back again another time. We'll see you guys later. Peace.